This video is sponsored by ITS. I'm Dave. I'm Stevie. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode 50. 5 0. 5 0. Come on. Get in there. What would finish it off if we could hit 50,000 subscribers? If you're not subscribed, why not? This week you are going to witness one of the hardest fencing jobs we have undertaken. It is absolutely brutal. There is roots everywhere and there was something unexplained. Stay tuned. Jordan is getting to grips with a camera so I hope you enjoy the HGV clips and he will learn to turn the camera. He's learning right? Show him some love in the comments and I hope you enjoy this episode. So good morning guys. It is Monday morning and as you can see and hear it is a busy one at the NJ projects already. My dad and Jordan have been filling up some bags for Jordan on the grab. People keep saying I'm gonna lose my touch on the grab. I don't need to drive it when you've got this master right here driving it. So we're all good in that aspect guys. Don't worry too much. But before we start today's video, I just want to say a massive, 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 I can't stress how massive I'm saying this, a massive thank you to all of you. The support you guys are showing to me, to my dad, to Jordan, to Anne, to everyone at DJ Projects, you're absolutely smashing it, guys. Me and my dad appreciate it so, so much, honestly. If he wasn't in a rush, he would say it himself. I'm sure he will later in this video. But honestly, guys, you're absolutely smashing it. You're smashing it with a like. You're smashing it with a subscribe button. And in the comments, we put the video on yesterday. It's on the screen now. Look at the comments. 1,100 comments. Like, it's unreal. That is why we do this. This is why we do it, guys. The interaction. I can honestly say it makes me smile. I read every single comment as well. If I don't comment back, does not mean that I haven't saw it because I make sure we see all the comments. Me and my dad make sure. So... Honestly guys, all I can say is a massive, massive thank you for supporting the channel. Genuinely means so much to us. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do, because we're gonna give that thousand pound away. And it looks like it's going to 10 lucky winners. I said vote, that's the one with the most votes by quite a long way as well. Let's see if these swans are here. Nah, no swans yet, guys. That chair does need to come out of there though, don't it? Does need to come out there. We'll see if we can get it. I can't promise anything. But we're praying those swans come back to that nest. And how many of you have watched Wednesday's video to see the mini Raptor soil screen up? Well, if you haven't watched that video, I suggest you leave this video, go watch that and then come back. Let us know what you think of that bad boy. Me and Ant are on another fencing job. It's a big one today as well, guys. It's gonna be seven foot, two gravel boards a bay, six by five. Lads are smashing it in here as always on the concrete side. Always good to see, but it's gonna be a big fencing job today. Looking forward to it. Another subscriber as well. You know how I mentioned in a video or two ago? Can't remember the last time we just did a normal um, customer's fence. Genuinely can't remember. We're busy, so let's go. As mentioned earlier, guys, this video is sponsored by ITS, the only place you need to go to get all the tools you'll ever need. For the ones that don't know, ITS is an online tool merchant, a little bit like Toolstation, a little bit like Screwfix, but they will not be beaten on price by either of those companies. And if that doesn't do it for you guys, you need not worry because there are over 25,000 customer five-star reviews. That's gotta be something, right? And did you know ITS are having one of their biggest ever sales right now, but you haven't got long. It is finishing on the 28th of March. Do yourself a favor, jump onto the ITS website, click the link down below, go and grab yourself a bargain, guys. It will be the best thing you do this weekend. I can promise you that much. They have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of offers on the website. Go and grab yourself a bargain. Click that link down below whilst you've still got time. And whilst you're grabbing that bargain, try and get it before 7 p.m. because there's a chance you can get next day delivery. And ITS aren't just for guys like me and my dad from DJ Projects. They're also for a lot of you guys as well. You do it yourself enthusiasts. The world's your oyster on the ITS website. So whilst you've still got time, click that link down below, guys. Go and grab yourself a bargain. And I want to see big up ITS in the comments down below. From me and the rest of DJ Projects, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to ITS for sponsoring this video. Back to the video we go. So then guys, we're at our first job of the week and it's a big one. It's another baptism of fire for Ant. Let me just show you what we're working with. So this is it. 
customer has already took out some of that hedge. It used to pretty much go all the way down. They've smashed it for us and started already. And it's just starting to take those panels down with a gusto bar. And that's where our fence is going. All the way past that tree, a little bit that way, around about six foot more, probably that way. So this hedge is coming out all the way down there. Look at these roots. Look at these roots, guys. You see them? We've got to take them out by hand. There was no way you could get the digger to this job. Look how high it is. I'm standing here. Look how high it is to get up there. This is staying, I believe. Fence will run all the way down there. So again, it's concrete post here that's coming out. Oh, it looks like it's just sitting on it. So it looks like it's probably been screwed in. That thing there. Whoa. Hopefully that's not coming out. <laughs> it might be. It's quite big if it is. Quite big indeed. There's an electric cable in here as well, so we've got to be careful of that. So it's this panel and that panel there. It's going to be a big one, guys. What a way to start the week, eh? Another baptism of fire. We love it. We absolutely love it at DJ. Another subscriber's house as well in property. And you know, we love doing these subscribers, uh, these subscribers' fences. As always, we've got to start with a rip out, so let's get cracked on. guys the fence did not take long at all for those bits that we needed obviously as you can see it's not all fencing um the concrete from the posts seen better days probably been in there for for years and years this one pulled out someone said that we'd be good uh, at dentistry so maybe you're right maybe you're on something if me and aunt don't make it as fences We'll become dentists, mate. How's that sound? <laughs> uh, hopefully, these uh, these come out. I'm not looking forward to these. I've had nightmares about these. Sometimes when you look, when you know a job's coming up, I have nightmares. I, I tell Ant, we've got a job coming up, mate. Uh, I can't sleep at night. <laughs> um, I know it's going to be bad. Yeah, because Ant's, Ant's obviously not saw it. I've saw it. Um, well, I have nightmares, so <laughs> I, I would have passed my nightmares on to him. <laughs> yes. Cheers, cheers. Thank you very much. It's all right, mate. Right then. Yes, all that hedge has got to come out, but before we tackle that, I'll just show you where we're starting. So all of this is coming out as well. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get a grafter on these and we'll give them a little try. But this is coming out. Ugh, neighbours asked if we'll take this pie camper out. Obviously, it's not in our way at all because we're starting there. So, not in our way. Neighbours wants to know if we'll take that out. This one out. We'll give it a blast. But you see where this chute here kicks out? I'm going to saw it off somewhere here. Go up in a reasonable straight line and our first post will start somewhere around here. Not here somewhere around here that's the plan anyway guys and then we're not 100 percent sure the size of this fence yet we've got some uh, double gravel boards we've got single gravel boards we've got 6 by 5 panels so we'll speak to the customer and see how tall we want to get this fence because neighbors said we can only go a certain height but we need to uh, define this height because you can see the ground I'm on one level here, it's another level over there, it's another level there, and it's another level there. We're working with levels all, all over the place on this one, so no matter what it looks like, this garden here is always going to be taller. But we want the privacy for our customer, so when we put our fence in, the neighbour still can't see over, right? Because that's the whole point of a fence, fencing for privacy, that is a key thing at the minute. That's, we seem to be doing that a lot, but anyway, I'm rambling, it's probably because... I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> so uh, let's crack on, guys. 
We've got a few out, but I think it's going to be a long day, guys. It's going to be a long day. Um, well, as you can see, we're here. Got a long way to go. Not even attacked that yet, but we're getting there, aren't we, Ant? Oh, mate. We're getting there. We are. We're getting there. We don't get beat in D&J, mate. Can't get beat, can we? We've got no choice. We've got to get them out. So what we'll do, we'll do the magic fingers to get them out to that hedge. So you see all these, they're gonna be gone now. On the right. But it's been hard. It's 12 o'clock now. Barely even done it. That's what it feels like anyway. Oh, not on that up there, mate. But yeah. Onto this now, guys. Onto this. Look at these monsters. Oh, yeah. Whoa. We just keep plodding on, that's all we can do. It's a nightmare guys. Ain't no two ways about it. It's an absolute nightmare. Not even halfway there yet. I don't think there'll be any fencing getting done today. Definitely don't be. It's too hard. It's too damn hard. So guys, me and Ann, we're feeling it today. It ain't been easy. Hardest one of the year so far, you really agree? Oh mate, yeah, I can, I can yeah, say that, yeah. Fully agree, not even got a bay in. Ant's first week, that baptism of fire. Um, if you remember, I'll put a picture on the screen now of the actual fence. That, that was, was hard, but that was easy in comparison. Because those roots were tiny. And we listened. We've always had this bad boy. We decided to get it out today because we knew it was going to be hard. Um, most of them are probably in the way as well. So hopefully some of them that we've cut just below ground won't be in the way. But you never know until we start putting that fence up. Who knows, guys? Who knows? It ain't been easy, though. Appreciate you guys watching. That's what we do appreciate. Very much. So if you could like this video... We very much appreciate it. And definitely subscribe, guys. We're close to 50 now. We're getting close. Oh. Never tastes nice. It's a precipitator. We like it when they come out like that. Few and far between. We might be on this one for a while, guys. So rather than go raw, we'll do time lapse now. 
So then guys, I'm just going to use his magic fingers for that one just there. Take the glove off. And there we have it guys. There's that big boy there. Weren't easy, different saws to get the job done. And now where it was, should be out of line. Look at a mess, absolute mess guys. It's just these two bits here, and then we can actually do some fencing. How crazy is that? It's been hard. But we're not one to moan or give up. I've been smacked in the eye as well, you see. So, probably should have had some goggles on for that. Something smacked me in the eye. I don't know what it was, but I know it hurt at the time. <laughs> so, but um, just a bit more to go. It's going to be a bloody horrible clear up job, this one, because the access is uh, terrible, really, um, for this sort, of, this sort of work. And I dare say some of these routes are still going to be in the way, but the right of the way for the line, for us to get our line in. And um, that's the most important thing. So yeah, I guess, I guess we'll just keep cracking on. I'm not sure we'll get any fencing in today. I'm a little bit gutted on that. So I do apologize, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Two bays down here as well. And some of that looks horrible. But I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna contemplate that bit yet. But um, yeah, we'll keep going. Come on guys, we're on the last one. It's only three o'clock, 3 p.m. How long have we been doing this on? Since six, nine? Since nine o'clock. Nine or 10 o'clock? What can you do, eh? It's not without trying, though. It's not without trying. giving us some jip and has got it he's got it what a day guys what a day as you can see that trellis ain't looking too clever is it held up by post either end <laughs> well, you've got one there holding it up you've got one there holding it up i think it's seen better days do you i think it's seen better days have you seen this here andy work so they're putting their things inside pipes now though. oh yeah it's a new post there's that electric cable. Disappears in there somewhere. Reappears all the way out there. Oh my God, look at that mess. Don't even know where to start, guys. We've done, uh, done a little bit more. I'll just show you. So we've got our string line up, you see? We've got our first bay in. Looking very nice indeed. A little bit awkward to show you, obviously, because of all these trees. But I'll try and show you from the garden side. You can just see it, look. Nice and private. So the plan is, that's at seven foot, that one. That's got two gravel boards. Can you see them there? Two gravel boards. Plan is to do another two gravel boards and a 65 at seven foot there. And then I believe we're dropping down to six foot because you remember what I mentioned earlier, guys? Neighbor only wants us to go to a certain height. So we're gonna do six foot. They're not necessarily gonna be all level either because the ground is all over and it does naturally fall down. But that's the plan, guys. It's six o'clock right now. I'm gonna drop Ant off at home. I'm gonna take the van home. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy, busy day tomorrow of fencing. We look forward to it, but that's enough for me and Ant today. Let's go and see what my dad's been up to throughout this day. Hopefully it's something exciting. So it's Monday morning and we're all loaded up. So we'll get ready, go to the job, and then we'll catch up there. Oh, 
seven bags dropped off. Uh, back to the yard. Look again. Back in the yard now. Five ton of dark sand to load on. Big Dave's gonna do it for me. All loaded up now. So on to the next. Next time you see me, we'll be on the job. Time you see me, I'll be on a delivery with Dave. Good morning, it's Monday morning. Oh, it's been a busy one, hectic. First time I've had time to film. You've probably seen what Stevie's been up to, and you've probably seen what Jordan's been up to. But yeah, I've done two deliveries already. We're delivering our nice fancy panels. I need a lift with them. So I'm just waiting for Jordan to come back now. He's just dropped five ton of sharp sand off, I believe, as I've loaded that up for him. So as soon as he gets here, we'll fly, drop these off. Do a little bit of filming for you, show you a little deliverer, then it's back to the yard because Jordan's got to go back on a grab. We've got soil screening to do, I've got to help the lads out in the back. Jamie's up against it because he's got loads of panels to make. Yeah, busy, busy, busy. See you soon. Well, then, pigeons are proper against it. The sparrow's got it. Not very often you see that, but yeah, it's got it. I'll leave them to it. That's nature, eh? So me and Jordan got that one delivered. Lovely, lovely ass. Having nice panels now. So head back to the yard. All loaded up again with materials and off to Gadlin. We'll see you there. There we have it. Another one dropped off. Nice and neat. Go stick that panel on top of there and then take the picture for Instagram. Jordan just finished that last bag off. Back at the yard now, just loading Jordan up with some of our screen topsoil. Yeah, he's getting a proper hang of the old uh, forklift now. He's going to hook a bag up. We're going to take a scoop. We've already got a scoop in, weighed it off. So it's 420 kilo in there in a minute. Yeah, pile was going down. Make some nice topsoil. Let's get these bags on. Good morning. I'm driving around the yard. I'm not on the road yet. That's why I got my seatbelt on. But who's teamed up? Walking around the yard. So, what am I up to today? I'm on delivering this morning, then I am on filling the mixer up for the lads because we're going back up to full production. So, you'll see a bit of that today. So, yeah, let's get this delivery done and we'll show you the rest of the day. So, there you have it nice and neat and stacked. I've let next door know because the customer used his ring doorbell to let me know tell them next door so i think they're sharing it so there must be a boundary fence let's get back to the yard onto next so we're back all loaded up with four deliveries very small deliveries that's why i can get them all on so let's get these delivered get back to the yard and help the lads in the back that's one down three to go eight sleepers and one rock face gravel board a six inch rock face gravel board there we have it another one down onto the next and there we have it delivery number three onto the next Nicely stacked there, a few stacked there. We took some bags around the back. Next time you see us, we'll be back at the yard. The yard now. And this has turned up. Yeah, I don't know what's in this box. <laughs> yeah, I'll open this box, show you what's in it. So, all opened. I know exactly who this is. This is Tuna. And is that Colleen? Colleen? AJ Vehicle Solutions. This is who I thought the box was from last week. But yeah, they've got all little notes on. So that was stuck on there, that's Office. Concrete Crew. Jamie's got something in there. 
Wow. Jordan's got some, Ant's got something. Oh, wow. Oh, some, there's some little. Oh, Steve would be happy. Magnetic bits. <laughs> Stevie's got one look. There's something for everyone in here. Jordan, Big Red. The pens. Yeah, we'll land this out. Well, thank you, thank you very much, Tony and Colleen. And Eileen. Yeah, Colleen. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh. Just up with like, so many people to send stuff in. It's it's unbelievable. It touches me and Steve and the guys. It really does. Re really, really. Just thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Like I said before, we love putting these videos out. We love doing it. Uh it is a little bit hard at the minute because we're super busy. I know I keep on saying super busy. But yeah, we do appreciate every one of you. That's why we are giving a thousand pound away. And everyone's saying a thousand pound to 10 people because it sprints the joy. But yeah, so close to that 50,000 now. But let me get in that concrete side and help them lads. So I'm in the back now. I've got no sharp sand. I'm going to be scraping the sides. Really scraping the sides. Get this sharp sand up. But yeah, the lads are popping. Jordan just jumped on the forklift, going to take some stuff out. I will show you a little bit inside of there today. You people keep on asking for it. So yes, I'll be showing you. But I've got to take Tia, my big dog, the American Bulldog. I've got to take her at one o'clock to the vets because she's got massive swelling here. I think she's chipped a tooth. So I'll have to nip off there. And then I'll be back again on the mix with the boys. Outside in this gorgeous weather. We'll get up on that viewing platform. Well, I quick look, see if the swans are here. The back, but I hope they're not building the nest there. Oh God. Please don't tell me they're building the nest there. But yeah, the back. Yeah. Let's leave them to it. So Jordan's had to go and fetch some sharp sand because we haven't had the delivery. It's just sweeping every last little bit. So we need every drop. Yeah, it's going to fetch some, so that'll be all ready for tomorrow. I'll go get a little red now. There's a little sneak peek. What the lads do, look. Got two lads popping. And then you've got two lads filling. See, I'm filling the mixer up. And then they stack them up on the pallet. And then it's the same again tomorrow. Good morning, boys and girls. Me and Ant are on the fencing job. I believe you've just saw my dad's clips. I'm not sure what he's filmed. He might have filmed loads, but I know his back's aching. And when you're aching, you don't want to do anything. So uh, I'm not sure what he's done. But me and Ant, we're at the job. Customers just made us a nice tea, so we're going to have this tea and enjoy this. What do you think to this setup as well, guys? I love that. I love that. Nice and private, especially with the new fencing. Very, very nice. And talking of fencing, I'll put more gravel boards in here, look. Couple gravels. Same height as the other gravels. So those bays will be seven foot, another six by five on there. And then we're going to drop it down because the neighbor's not best happy with that height. Um, so we're going to go to six foot. Keep everyone sweet. Gonna chop those pyrocanthus down for her as well. Keep her on the good side. Look after her as well, because like Joe Everest says, two sides to a fence, so you gotta look after everyone. The customers agreed to go to six foot. Run it all the way down. Six foot from neighbor's side is a bit more of a drop because the ground just isn't there. Like there's two crazy different levels, hence why I was going to seven foot. When we do this next bay, we'll dig a trench. We'll see what we can get away with and we'll make it work guys, definitely make it work, make it nice, nice for the customer, the subscribers, got to make it look nice for them. So we'll have this tea, we'll get that pan on, me and I'm, we'll stop cracking on.
now you've seen us get that in. I'm going to show you what I've got to do with the post. Cash the rise down here. There's the six foot bay guys. Dropped it down a foot, level with that gravel board into there. And now I'm not 100% sure what levels we'll do next because the ground will need quite a bit of raising there to keep it six. But we'll dig a hole and then we'll figure out what we're doing. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use Ant's magic fingers for this bay right here. And there we have it, guys. Ant's magic fingers are working. Everyone always asks in the comments, how do you get them to work? I'll tell you what, I might teach you soon. I've taught Ant, and as you can see, it's working nice. So we've gone two leveled at seven foot, dropped it down one, and then we've dropped it down to our final height. The plan is now to run that level all the way down there. I dare say we'll get quite far down there at that level as well. That's what we're hoping, aren't we, mate? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're hoping for, to keep it nice and uniform all the way. Let me stand back and show you from a distance. Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. You guys are happy with that as well. I'm happy with this lovely weather as well. Oh, you can tell the dog's been here. He's been chewing. If you are happy with the job so far, smash the like button, because that really helps. Subscribe if you're brand new, because you might just win that thousand pound.
like hot curry. Spicy. Spicy curry. No, no. I like korma. What, you, you being serious? Yeah. Well, I mean, me and you, me, can't go out. <laughs> uh, let me, let me have these. <laughs> so then, guys, we're just on about curries. And I like korma curry. And that's not. And Ant's disappointed. Says that's not a curry. I love a korma curry. What do you guys like? I'm a Madras or Jal Fraser, Rogan Josh, anything with spice in it. I've, do I've done that before, guys. There's one in the mid earlier. Time for a panel. Another one bites the dust. I think we'll get another one in there and then we'll have some lunch. And another one guys. Sorry if you can hear me breathing ever. Um, with this sun, it doesn't look like much, but it's a little bit energy sapping. I'll just show you from up there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them at nice and level now. And then the one little step up and then going up to the seven foot bays like the customer has asked us to do. Originally, this fencing was gonna be seven foot all the way across. Cause obviously the different levels that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um but there was some trouble with the neighbor and with the customer on this one because yes it's private from here right it's private you can see it it's six foot privacy but as ant will demonstrate what's private about that guys i'm not happy with that um but sometimes it's better to keep the peace it is what it is well i'd love to have done it for the customer all the way over there couldn't do it at the second the third bay high either because the ground is all too low and to be fair next door was moaning it had to be five foot from their path which is a five foot panel pretty much from the path it is what it is guys it is what it is yeah it's definitely five foot but it is what it is guys anyway enough of that we've got another six foot bay to go in somewhere around here we're not doing bad today what are we doing one two three four five six seven eight mate yeah, you're right, you're right counting yourself. We've done the, the second seven foot base. We've done eight today. Eight, nine here. It's only two o'clock as well. We're smashing it today, mate. Not looking forward to getting rid of all of this, but uh, again, it is what it is. Oh yeah, um, as you can imagine, it's not been a nice dig, but we keep plodding on. I'm not gonna moan no more, because I moaned a lot yesterday. You know, when I was editing the, uh, editing the footage, I was moaning like crazy, but... No moaning now. Nah. I'm just gonna get another one done. So we'll get another one done with these magic fingers right here. It's gonna be there. And there's another one, guys. Not too shabby indeed. E-man's gonna get this out. Come on, mate. Show it who's boss. Come on. Come on, yeah. Look at that, guys. That gym's been paying off, hasn't it, mate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good lad. Good lad. Oh, All right. Metal in there, so be careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet that's from the chain limb fence that we was taking out as well. Green chain limb fence ran all the way down there. 
it stinks as well. You know when you've just got that stagnant water smell like uh, like that there? Oh, it stinks here. So I take this down from there for the customers so she don't break her legs? I think we'll get rid of that, mate, yeah. Um, I'll set you up for a time lapse somewhere. It's getting a little bit tight, but uh, we'll get this next bin. Definitely not too shabby that, ain't it, Ant? No, not too shabby, not too not shabby. Not too shabby. Um, what is a little bit shabby is the smell from that stagnant water and the fact that our post falls there. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a bit loose. So I think we take the panel out, see what we can do with this concrete, get this electric cable out of the way that way. And try and dig it all. And there we have another bay, guys. Had to drop this one down because you can see the ground as it is already steadily starting to go away. So we had to drop that one a little bit, drop this one here six inches to match the six inch drop up there. So it's it's a little bit out of uniform, but it's not crazy. That's why we've got the markings on the post there to get that six inch. Got this bay tomorrow. Good luck with that, eh? <sighs> but we'll get it done. Serious day of fencing for me and Ant. We have done one, two, three, four, five. I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have done eleven bays of fencing. All of that there, look. And I'm very happy with it. Customers happy. Let me show you this again. More than happy with that, guys. More than happy with that. Not too shabby indeed. I'll see you in the morning. Had a bit of a busy day today. I haven't really done much recording. Um, just done one grab load. So we'll put you on time lapse and we'll go to the tip. Back in the yard, I've got an hour left, so I'm gonna help Dave load up the vans. See you tomorrow. So, I've been busy all morning. We've done load after load, and now uh, we're on the way to the tip again. So, I'll take you along for the ride. Five bags of limestone dropped off. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you saw my dad's clips first or you're seeing these clips first. But it is Wednesday. Me and Ant have got one more bay. You can see it down there. We've took this one out for access because it's getting a little bit tight now. We've got a, um, a horrible one to finish the fencing job. Let's just show you. So obviously it runs down and then we get here. And our post finishes somewhere around here. So just before this. We don't want to be falling in there, do we, mate? Oh, definitely not. We've got a drain here, so we've got to be super careful. We've got nasty stagnant water there, so definitely want to be careful of that. We need to uh, 
sort of go here. So what we need to do is probably just move this out of the way for the time being so we can see how easy or how hard that hole is going to be there. So it's going to be easier for you because it's going to be done with these magic fingers. There'll be a hole here. Well, we're not quite done yet, guys. But, uh... Oh, mum's ringing me. I'll get back to you. What's this then, guys? We've got a bomb on our hands or what? Um... Got a bit of movement, but don't know what to do with that because I have no idea what it is. It doesn't look inviting, does it, mate? Oh, definitely not. It's not inviting. <laughs> it's not saying pull me out. I've no idea what it is. Um, just jump on it if it goes off, mate. Cause I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll update you soon. So update, guys. I'm just scared, Al. <laughs> I said, uh, be careful as you go down, mate. As soon as he put him down, he gave you the biggest boom. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Anyway, funny. update. Give Ant a sec to sort his trousers out. <laughs> <laughs> right, a bunch, and I mean a bunch of red cable in there. That's staying. No idea what that is. These things came out. I can't explain to you how heavy they are, guys, so... That's the last time I'm gonna to touch them. I don't know what they are. No idea, right? Like cast iron stuff. Um, I'll let the customer know. Yeah, not sure what they are. Hopefully just nothing, just some old metal. Because there's been glass, there's been like porcelain plates in there and all sorts. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep digging down here. Uh, can you hear the drain as well, guys? Nice flow of water. You can see why people have them in gardens, but we'll keep getting this bit out. Oh, I've ordered some of these as well, guys. And yes, still toe caps. So then guys, we've been busy. Just about to have a cup of tea. But the fencing aspect of this job is complete, ain't it, mate? It's all done. Well, mainly all done. There's a tiny, tiny little bit next door that I've just got to fill in. Um, and talking of next door, we're gonna be doing uh, some soil in there. But here's that panel. I know it's hard to see, guys, but that's where the bomb was. And here's that panel. Not too shabby. It's a long walk, ain't it, mate? Oh, definitely. It's a long walk. Got quite a bit to do. So then, guys, we uh, we sorted out the soil for the neighbour, and now we've got our first full load of stuff of brash, hedge, and we're at the tips waiting to get told to go in now. Uh, and once we get back to that job, I think we'll we'll tidy up one final time and show you a before and after. It's a bloody good one, definitely a good one. So and it's just about to put the last bit on the van. He's going to strap these panels up. And whilst Ant is doing that, let me remind you of what this old fencing was looking like. I say fencing, it's actually hedge. Well, as you can see, guys, the fencing was almost non-existent. It needed a lot of work to get those hedges out. And my God, was it hard. It was one of our hardest ones this year. But guys, I think it's worth it. Let me just show you what it's looking like now. That's a bit of a transformation, if we do say so ourselves. Very, very happy with this one, guys. Ooh. 
Not too shabby indeed. As always, absolute pleasure having you guys with us on this transformation. Absolute pleasure. From the ball ache of trying to get all of these stumps out by hand to the uncertainty of maybe finding a bomb in the corner. God knows what it was. If it was a bomb, we got lucky. If it wasn't, we also got lucky, right? I guess. Um, but it's, it's, it's a pleasure having you here, guys. Honestly, if you're still here, smash the like button because it really does help the channel. And if you could subscribe, if you like what you're seeing, but no pressure, no pressure. We love you all if you're watching this video anyway. From me and Ant, that is it for the day. We'll see you tomorrow for another fencing install. It's going to be a good one. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning guys, you may have saw what my dad's been up to, hopefully he's filmed. Me and Anne are on another little fencing job, it's a small one today as well guys, I'll show you in a sec, very small, two bays, um, they're not two full bays either, but because it's such a small expanse and it's at the front of the house, we're going to even up the panel, so there'll be like a four foot and a four foot rather than a six foot and a two foot, even though the, that maths don't add up, when I take a full measurement it will add up. <laughs> um, yeah, got some materials here. Nothing crazy, like I say. Let's show you what we're up to. So this is what we're working with today. There's that six, there's that two. That's coming down. The gate, the post on the house is staying. We're just changing this timber post with a concrete post next to it. Concrete post somewhere here, concrete post somewhere there. It's gonna be a good one, guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good one. Gonna match the same height as the fence in this customers had done last year, not by ourselves personally. But as you can see, this fence is ready. It's had to be wedged up, it's leaning, wedges either side, so it needs to come down. So as always, let's get it down. Just saw us take that fencing out. It was nice and careful. Don't want to cause a mess where we don't have to, guys. So there'll be a couple of posts here. Post here. And then a post here. They made a right contraption with this bit here. So what we'll do, when we put our post in, we'll tie that back to our post. Put that piece of timber back into this little gap thing that they've made here. I can sort of see why they've done it because obviously the drain pipe they can't go from here to here they've had to attach it to this uh, sometimes you've got to do that but we'll have a nice intermediate right there where the old one was one there and one there customers made us a nice coffee so we'll have that and we'll get cracked on Ew. what do you think to these guys i said yesterday that i had bought some so i bought some with a yellow well, I thought I've got to get the yellow as well. <laughs> They're a bit, a bit trainified, but ooh, actually quite solid. What do you think, guys? Have a close up of these, mate. Get close up to these. Have a look. Very nice. I look good in my quotes tomorrow. So it's not going too bad, guys. It's a little bit warm. Got our first post in, or oh, some of it. You're not going to be happy because I weren't happy. But we're matching everything to this panel. So that skyscraper is being matched here. So the panel is going to be here, running across. That's what the customer wants. That's what they get, right? That's what they get, mate. We're evening off the panels here. So that's what Ant's done now. We've took the measurements around about 50-ish inches. Tiny, tiny bit shorter than 50 inch. There'll be a concrete post here. 
This timber post will be taller than this gate. That's what custom wants. Concrete post here. Fifter, fifter, post in the middle. But what about this here, Ant? What happened here, mate? Oh, that's definitely my fault again. We've got an edging stone that is broken. The edge of the stone is there. It's not meant to finish here, guys. It's meant to go all the way past. So it's a broken edging stone. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna get a new one. It was me. I broke that edging stone. Now, do you see why I say start with your bandra when you do landscaping? These accidents won't happen. Yeah, yeah, because once it's in, I can move up. All of it, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. We'll just tie it one more time. Yeah. Yeah, watch it out, boy. First one's in. I don't know why people like to leave it like that. But they do. Now it's time for this one. So we'll get the gravel board in with Ant's magic fingers. Time to put a panel in there, folks. So we've been busy guys. Not too shabby. Obviously the customer wanted it. Uh, that height there. Obviously like, as you guys would already know, we put those panels to the shoulder. That's what the customers asked for. I'll just show you from the front. In fact, what I'll do, I'll show you a picture 
of what this was looking like. As you can see, didn't match. Of course, I wanted it a little bit taller. This is what it looks like now. There we go, guys. Quite happy with that. Customer didn't want a new gate. He was happy with his own gate, hence why there's um, a size difference. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Customer's asked us to replace the small panel of that with a feather edge just to the top of the post. So that's what we've done. Very happy. Nice little too long. Did take a while. Um, but happy with it. A couple of hours later, guys. Home time, I think. I'm not sure if Dad's filmed anything today. Hopefully he has. If not, Jordan may have. Hopefully he has as well. Because uh, it seems you're liking some of that grab action. But yeah, I think that's another day at d and uh, I can't even speak. It must be another day at D&J for me. I'll see you in the morning, guys. So it's not the next it's morning, 10. guys. It's 10. We're currently at home with Denise. We've gone to the park, haven't we, Grace? Yeah. We've gone to the park near ours. Team Swan, Team Dot. We have to film, don't we? Why? YouTubers. Oh, yeah. Team Swan or Team Dot, let me know. Am I famous now? We will be. So you got Team Dot? Team Swan. And Team Swan. Lash... Which one are you voting for? Yeah, which one? Pick, let us know in the comments. Last year, guys, I don't know if it was this one or the next one, there was a Swans and there was about 10 Signets. Um, so they had the babies. They had a good year last year. Those little baby ducks, everything. It was good. Oh, look at that, eh? That one's about to fly away. Trying, ain't it? Like these guys up here, look. On the paragliders. But that is that is it from me today. Another day, D and J. Say see you in the morning. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good afternoon, guys. It's Friday. Been super, super busy with quotes all day. I don't know if my dad's filmed anything. I'm not 100% sure on that. I've got one more quote to go and do at three o'clock. It's half past two now. These quotes take ages. I started at quarter to eight this morning and I just got back to the yard around about 20 past two and I've still got one more to do. Take a long time, but no quotes, no jobs, right? I'm not sure if there'll be much more filmed this week, guys. Uh, it's been a busy one. I think it's about an hour's video anyway. So hopefully you've enjoyed what you've saw already. If so, remember, smash the like button, subscribe if you're brand new. That phone don't stop ringing. <laughs> but uh, I'll catch up later, guys. Might be the end of the video, though. No swans, just more trams. Yeah. I saw earlier in the video, swans were there. They need to move up there. Oh, yeah, as always, guys, it's a pleasure having you here. Watching these videos, and if you're still here, definitely like the video. So close to 50,000 subscribers as well. Almost about to give that thousand pound away to 10 lucky winners. I look forward to doing that. Look forward to doing that. Let's go and see if my dad's got out to say. So here he is, guys. He's changing these guns for Ant, I believe, tomorrow. He's going to be doing some six by sixes. Ant's been doing a lot of fives today, actually. But he's going to be doing some six by sixes. Uh, this is how he changed guns, actually. It's quite easy. Probably only take dad five minutes. I think he's mentioned before he's got a little prop and then just changes them with the spanners and that. So that's it guys. It is another day and another week at D and J projects. It has been a busy one. It's been a hard one. That fencing one that <laughs> killed me off earlier this morning in the week. Um, it was a very, very hard one. With that said, you haven't seen a lot of me. I do apologize, but I've left you in capable hands of Stevie and, and Jordan and Jamie is off next week. So yes, I'll promise you, I will be showing you how to make a gate because we won't have that radio on. <laughs> and we'll be smashing it out. So stay tuned for next week. And for you true patriots of the channel, I want to see 50,000 subscribers next week. Laters. <laughs>